Welcome. In this video, you'll learn how to use classic builder landing pages in marketing cloud account engagement. We'll 1. Summarize common landing page use cases and differences between the classic and enhanced builders. 2. List setup steps. 3. Describe how to create and manage landing pages. 4. Explain how to brand and enhance landing pages with templates. And 5. Identify best practices for creating effective landing pages. A landing page is a single web page created for a marketing campaign that typically includes a primary call to action, or CTA, that serves as a conversion point for prospects. Marketing Cloud Account Engagement, or Account Engagement for short, provides a full suite of tools, including landing pages that help marketers create meaningful connections, generate more pipeline, and empower sales to close more deals. We see our customers use landing pages in a variety of ways, including to create short-term promotion pages that are shareable across social media and online ads and that don't require support from a website development team, position themselves as thought leaders through knowledge-sharing blogs or case studies, share and manage event logistics and registrations, present curated content that drives visitors toward a compelling call to action, personalize pages for account-based marketing campaigns. Regardless of how you use them, Landing pages can be a tremendously powerful part of your online marketing campaign. As they allow you to present relevant, actionable content, use that content to convert anonymous visitors into known cookied prospects, drive engagement with those prospects, and automate marketing tasks and prospect-triggered actions. It's important to note that because landing pages are hosted in account engagement, they won't be part of your website hierarchy. You can choose from two landing page builders in account engagement, classic and enhanced. How do they differ? Well, with the classic landing page builder, you can create landing pages with no code, low code, or full code designs. Quickly apply and update styling across multiple pages using layout templates. Customize responsive behavior. Restrict how the page can be edited using content regions. And with the enhanced landing page builder, you can create landing pages with drag and drop components. Choose from more than 20 built-in form styling options and header footer code blocks for more complex code needs. Leverage automatic responsiveness. Clone across business units. Use chatter for collaboration as a change log or for polls to gather feedback. You don't have to pick one builder for all of your pages. You can use different builders for different scenarios. However, once you create a page, you always have to use the same builder to edit it. You've brushed up on landing page basics. Now, it's time to complete a few quick setup steps. To ensure your account engagement account and website are ready to support your landing pages, follow these steps. Step 1. Create a branded tracker domain to show your company's name. This will allow you to show your company's name in the landing page URL instead of the generic account engagement address. It will also provide a better customer experience and is needed if you're using first-party tracking. Step 2. Add tracking code to your website. To get insights about your prospect's full journey on your website, consider adding tracking code to any other pages a prospect is likely to visit or be redirected to after interacting with your landing page. Step 3. Align with IT resources as needed. You might need assistance from your webmaster or developer to design the landing pages or to add links to pages on your main website. Step 4. Create custom fields to collect data if a form will be on the page. Make sure you have fields ready to store the values from the submission if a form will be used on the landing page. These can be default or custom fields. Also consider if you want to map these fields to Salesforce to see the values there too. Ready to create and manage your landing pages in the classic landing page builder? Let's start by creating a new landing page. Unlike the enhanced builder, the classic landing page builder can be accessed using the account engagement lightning app or the standalone website. Today, let's use the Lightning app to access the builder. First, we navigate to Content, then Landing Pages. Then click on the Add Landing Pages button. We complete the fields by choosing a name, adding tags, assigning it to a folder, giving it a title and a description. Remember, SEO best practice is to keep your title under 60 characters and your description under 150, 160 characters. We choose a campaign and add a tracker domain. Remember, the campaign helps us organize and report on our pages. The tracker domain controls what brand prospects see in the URL of the page. 
We can optionally include an archive date if we know in advance this page will only be needed for a short amount of time. For example, if the page is being used for a once-off event. We can also optionally check the Hide from Search Engine Indexing checkbox if the page should be kept unlisted, and click Next. You can choose to add or not add an account engagement form to this page. This can be an existing form or a form you create as part of the landing page creation flow. You also have the option to redirect prospects to a different thank you location rather than the default location set on the form. And when you're happy with your form choice, click Next. Now you have three options to create your new landing page. You can start from scratch. These pages are built from a blank canvas using a drag and drop style builder. They're not automatically responsive and provide limited customization options. Or start from a stock template. These pages are built using out of the box, pre-coded templates provided by account engagement as your starting point. They aren't automatically responsive but can be customized with your own branding. Or start from a layout template you've built yourself. This option gives you the most flexibility but also requires the most HTML or CSS proficiency. These pages use layout templates you have built yourself as the starting point, with your own custom branding and behavior built in. Let's suppose you're starting from scratch. Click Start from Scratch and then Next. When the page loads, you'll see buttons at the top of the page that you'll use to create your new page. You can drag in and style different components including images, text, and forms, and then do some basic editing. You also can add a background color and buttons, and you can update some of the default settings, such as the default font, link color, padding, background, and tracking scripts. When you're happy with the page, click Next, and then Preview Landing Page. Make any last edits and click Confirm and Save once you're happy. Now suppose instead of starting from scratch, you want to use a stock template instead. As you can see, much of the page has already been created, and the template provides placeholders for suggested content. Let's begin by clicking on Page Options in the top right-hand corner of the builder, and use this to change some of the default settings to better fit your branding. Add images and resize and move existing components. And like before, when you're happy with the page, click Next and then Preview Landing Page. Make any last edits and click Confirm and Save. Great work! In the next section, you'll learn more about account engagement layout templates and walk through steps for creating one. Think of a layout template as a reusable block of code that lets you quickly format landing pages and forms hosted in account engagement. You also can use content regions to control which sections of your layout templates are editable when used as the starting point for a new landing page. To create a layout template, you need knowledge of front-end coding languages such as HTML, CSS, or JavaScript. Also keep in mind that if you're adding a form to a classic landing page, the landing page's layout template will control the style and behavior of both the page and the form. You have three options when creating your template. You can build layout templates from scratch, import the code from an existing page on your website, or start from a stock template and add your own branding. Let's look at the Layout Template Builder now. First, navigate to Content, and then Layout Templates. Then click on the Add Layout Template button. Give the Layout Template a name, assign it a folder, and then add tags. You'll see three different tabs. The Layout tab controls the look and feel of your landing page and form. This is where you'll add things like your brand colors, font, header images, and footer text. The Form tab controls the structure and behavior of the form. It helps you ensure that the fields, labels, and submit buttons all show up in the right order and have the right behavior. This is where you can customize your error message text and how the Submit button behaves when you click it. The Site Search tab is a legacy feature no longer in use. On the Layout template, look for the Content tag. This is what pulls in the content from the landing page or form. If this tag isn't there, nothing from the individual page or form will show, so always make sure it is included. You'll also see the title tag. This is what will show as the name of the tab in your browser. And the description tag is what will help with your SEO. 
When you're creating a layout template, you can create it using one of Account Engagement's pre-packaged templates as the starting point, or you can import the code from an existing web page, or you can create it from scratch by adding in your code manually. When you're happy with the template, click Preview Changes. If everything looks good, click Save. Now when you go to create a landing page, you'll see the layout template that you've just created as an option. Pretty nifty. To create the most effective landing pages in account engagement, keep the following best practices in mind. Use consistent messaging. Your landing page should clearly mirror the value proposition of the initial ad or email. Any variation in language between your initial offer and landing page can make a prospect feel duped. Pay close attention to your CTA. Include a clear, persuasive CTA that is clearly visible without having to scroll down the page and that reflects the message of your landing page. Leave white space on the page. By reducing clutter and leaving enough space between your copy and visual elements, prospects can focus on the most important thing on the page, the call to action. Design for the eye. Prospects will most likely scan and not read the full page, so use visual indicators to lead them to the most desired content or action. Keep forms short and sweet. If your CTA is a form, make submission as easy as possible and ask for no more than four to five field values per form. Use radio buttons or drop downs when possible to standardize the data format and simplify the process. Plan the engagement path. Think about where you want your prospect to go after they visit the landing page. If you've included a form, use the thank you page to direct prospects to other products or features. Encourage prospects to engage with your brand on social media, or even offer prospects free bonus content. For more information about landing page reports and insights, visit Salesforce Help at help.salesforce.com backslash and search for the landing page reports documentation or register for the Insights Account Engagement Reporting Overview webinar. In this video, we've summarized common landing page use cases and differences between classic and enhanced builders, listed setup steps, described how to create and manage landing pages, explained how to brand and enhance landing pages with templates, and identified best practices for creating effective landing pages. If you're a marketer, account engagement landing pages can help you create meaningful connections, generate more pipeline, and empower sales to close more deals. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.